Hello and welcome to SGS Battle for Way. This tutorial will aim to teach you about the mechanics of the Perfume River, which are very important and it also makes for a great phrase, so I'm happy to say it. So the areas that make up the river are accessible for the most part to the US Navy craft, such as the LCUs that we can see here. Now, we also do have the PBR counters from the Huawei Security Group. These were historically responsible for providing protection around the LCU ramps. These units can fire from the river onto the banks, and for the communists, you can see that we have units such as these over here. So, from the riverbanks, some communist units can also open fire onto the US Navy boats. These elements, which are responsible for harassing river communications, cannot move outside the banks of the Perfume River, and their long range fire is only possible uh, against the river. So, you can see here that we have the unit here, the BBC NH, and they're able to actually spread their fire out here and obviously be able to damage and destroy the LCUs. Of course, I would like to position them closer so they could actually be within range, but it is important controlling the riverine access and uh, movement along the Perfume River. So, in addition, the free world player can deploy as reinforcements and provided he controls the access ramps on both sides to the south and access to the north as well to LCU counters which once placed will allow connections with a different cost of movement point. So you can see here we have the LCU ramp here and over here as well. So this allows us to actually move across here with a different movement cost and able to bring reinforcements in without having to rely upon the bridges. A very important aspect to remember that. So beware these counters may be a type kind of communist. If they no longer exist on a map, you can only cross via the bridges provided they have not been destroyed or by airlift via the CH-46 helicopters. The latter can only be set up from a stadium area towards Mankar in the Newtown area or to a lock airfield provided the latter is not occupied again creating connections. A communist player for his part can place the boat counters which arrive as reinforcements at less and less at certain points. Once in place a communist boat token authorizes passage across the river which enables them to be able to move across like so. Beware however these counters are easily destroyed by aircraft or artillery. And last but not least recon marine combat swimmers and communist staffers can clash to protect or destroy bridges. A destroyed bridge means a lost connection, and in concrete terms, the impossibility of crossing the river where the bridge used to be. So, for example, if we had the uh, communists and the marines, they could actually attempt to destroy the bridge over here, which would have a major implication for the Battle of Hue. So, thank you very much, and goodbye.